Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah, and today I would like to review this fun curly style for you that is called Caribou by Beltres in the color Butterbeer Blonde. Now, if you'd like to know how long she is, how the color is composed, what special features she has, how the cap looks from the inside, and how I like her, then stick around and let's get started. So this cute style is called Caribou by Beltres, and I'm not even sure if it's still available or if they have discontinued it, but nevertheless, as you can always also get older styles on the secondary market, I wanted to show you this style anyway. Usually Beltres has all those longer shoulder length and longer um, beachy wave styles that look quite similar and are hard to tell apart, but this cutie is one of the very few short very curly styles they have. They have two or three others, like one, one of them is called Devotion, and I think they're coming out with new short styles as well. But usually um, the best dress styles are definitely longer. I really love these short, sassy, modern styles, and I think this is one of them. Um, you might think it's a, a dated or old-fashioned style, but I would disagree. Well, she definitely has this big quiff, I hope this is the right word, <laughs> like a pompadour hairstyle. I'm not really sure if the Americans know what this is. Um, I think this is a British term, but I also found the term uh, pompadour hairstyle. So <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. This uh, swooping bang that you can get quite big and looks a little like the 1950s is the only thing about this style I'd say that could be a little dated, but all the curls it has are so tousled and deconstructed that I think it doesn't look dated at all. It's just short, sassy, and fun, in my opinion. Now the color Butterbeer Blonde is one of my favorite Beltress colors, although I must say they have a great variety of really nice blondes, rooted blondes, and uh, Butterbeer Blonde is one of my favorites because it's very similar to my all-time favorite color Shaded Biscuit by Raquel Welch, and uh, Butterbeer Blonde has the same color codes, which is a 19 and a 23 and R8. The 19 is an ash blonde, the 23 is a dark honey blonde, and the root is an 8, which is a medium to dark brown. Now, you can definitely see um, that it has quite some dimension. You can spot the different shades, the ash blonde and the honey blonde, and also a platinum blonde they brought um, up to the hairline. And uh, also here you can see that one platinum streak it has here um, that lights up the face. And I just love how they do this. It's definitely a very beautiful color. Now, Caribou features a temple-to-temple -temple lace front and a left side monofilament part. And of course, I'm going to show you this from up close as always. And I think Beltres always does such great lace fronts. They are really perfect in my opinion. This is a really gorgeous hairline. You can see the very light platinum blonde they brought right to the hairline. The knots are very fine. It's really well done. And here's that monofilament part, which is also perfect. It's not too densely knotted and you can see through to my scalp, which is just the way we love it, isn't it? I think the lace front is not extended. I can tell you when we have a look inside the cap, but if I remember correctly, it's not an extended one, but uh, the seams are done really well. You don't see the seams, so they're <laughs> obviously done really well. And um, because a lot of times when the lace front is not extended, you have those quite harsh um, seams where the lace meets the cap, uh, which doesn't look good, and sometimes it's even visible, but it's not the case with this one. Now I will show you the length all around the screen, as always, so I won't have to bore you with the numbers. And you can guess, we will talk about permities next. Now this style has some permities, but not a lot. Um, it doesn't have any in the nape because it really has quite some volume and a lot of curls, so it's not necessary to have a lot in the nape. It has some in the back and also here on top I can feel quite some permatease and also on the sides I feel a little bit, but not too much. It's not really heavy permatease, but it's definitely there. On the other hand, if you don't like big hair, I'm pretty sure you won't go for this style. And if you love big curly hair, you probably won't mind a little bit of permatease like me. So that's not a problem at all. Now the fibers of this style, that which is from the Cafe collection, uh, like all the other styles in that collection, is made of heat-defined synthetic, um, which means you can use all your heat tools as long as you stay below the max temperature the manufacturer gives us, which is around 300 to 350 degrees. Um, 
So if you want to go higher than this, you can definitely change the style if you like. You could straighten it, um, you could put waves into it or different curls. You know, you can do whatever you like, which is always great. And another bonus of the HD fibers is that they are not as shiny as regular synthetic. So these fibers really look and feel so realistic. And although Raquel Welsh is my favorite brand, I do have to admit that uh, the Beltras fibers even feel more luxurious and much softer than the Raquel Welch fibers. Of course, it's not that I don't like Raquel's fibers. They are really great as well. But Beltras fibers are so much softer and uh, a little thinner. So um, yeah, in my opinion, they have the better fibers. And I hope Raquel will eventually <laughs> <laughs> also change to these fibers. But nevertheless, the fibers are great. And although, generally speaking, heat-defined fibers need more attention and care, especially with the longer styles, you won't have to do anything with this short style because there is no friction at all on your clothes with uh, the fibers. So these fibers won't tangle or fray or anything. So you won't have any wear on these fibers and don't need to add heat to keep them in great shape. And I'm pretty sure this style will last you a very long time. Now let me show you this gorgeous style from all sides and after that also outside in natural daylight. Isn't this just cute? Did you see that tousled curls in the back? I think that is so great that they're not so composed and accurate. I love that they are so tousled and deconstructed and I think this gives this a very modern edgy look. Now when it comes to styling there are quite some things you can do of course uh, also with a shorter style you can pin it up on one side or like I did um, you know just uh, tuck it behind one ear and it will stay there without any clip because it's not a high density style. Although it has quite some volume, it doesn't have a lot of hair, which is great. And um, if you would like to calm down the big curls, you could add a headband, or like I said, you could use all your heat tools um, to alter the style, um, straighten it, for example, if you get tired of the curls, or add some other curls or waves. Now let's try her with glasses, although I'm pretty sure without even trying that you, don't, that you won't have a problem with this because it's so short and not a lot of permities, so there's enough room between the ears and the ear taps to fit glasses. Now let me show you this gorgeous color outside in natural daylight, although there is no sun today. But nevertheless, I think um, you can always judge the color best in natural light because it looks different than in those bright lights in here, and you can judge best how the color really looks. So let's go outside. Isn't the color just gorgeous? And wouldn't you agree it looks just like Shaded Biscuit? <sighs> no wonder I love this color. Okay, now last but not least, let's have a look at the cap from the inside. So here's the cap from the inside. There you can see that lace front. And I remembered correctly, it's not extended, but the seam is really well done. You don't see this, um, so I can live with that. Uh, then that lace front seamlessly goes into that mono part, which is quite deep and also pretty wide so you have enough parting space then she has velvet covered or felt covered ear taps with the metal stays inside and they've also sewn some fibers under the ear taps for a more natural look the rest of the cap is open wefted it has a standard nape but it's not extended and the adjustable straps with the bra type adjusters which is typical for the dress i personally prefer the velcro ones but I can also live with this. All in all, this cap is really well done. Okay, that was my little review of Caribou. I hope it was helpful and you liked it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my future videos. And there's a new one coming out each Friday. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below and I will definitely reply. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're well, stay this way, and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.
Now, if you'd like to know how long she is, uh, it has that um, Hollywood size of toilet. Hmm. Um, Uh, so you won't, uh, so you won't have any anywhere. Okay, now let me show you the style from all sides, and after that, of course, also. <coughs> <coughs> so let's go out. <laughs> so let's go outside. And you liked it. If you, I hope you're well. If you're <sighs> yeah.